this is a uh, hi guys this is amardeep srivastav and welcome to my channel gate is simplified and in the previous lecture i have completed the concept of the different type of magnetic materials like uh, paramagnetic ferromagnetic diamagnetic anti ferromagnetic and all now in this lecture i would like to explain the concept of hysteresis curve and bh curve analysis now this is the wave diagram or this is a diagram i have i have drawn for bh curve and is in this diagram i would like to explain the entire mechanism how a curve how a ferromagnetic material behaves when we apply some extra external magnetic field and how the magnetic field intensity vary if we increase or decrease the value of the extra extra external magnetic field of the that ferromagnetic material now let's take that there are there are some domain that which is aligned inside the ferromagnetic material which we have taken for the instances now let's take we have taken a virgin or fresh ferromagnetic material a uh, virgin or fresh i mean to uh, say that there is no extra external magnetic or any other field applied for that material in case of that now this is lecture number 20 my name is amardeep srivastav and uh, welcome to my channel gts simplified this, and uh, after few lecture i will complete uh, the entire material science engineering for engineering service examination in case of non technical portion for engineering service examination prelims and after that i will go for few more uh, lecture series of problem solving and after that i will start technical portion only now if you want uh, to take the notes and if you want to have some fair doubt discussion then you can join my facebook group gts simplified you can search or either either you can go through the link in the description box which i will provide in that domain now i have taken a fresh or virgin ferromagnetic material that is the electric field the, the net magnetic field intensity across that is randomly zero now let me explain you this curve this curve is very much important for engineering service examination either for prelims or for mains you can expect question related to this this curve so you have to be very much focused on this this problem now let's take ferromagnetism actually the ferromagnetism ferromagnetism is characterized by the presence of parallel alignment of dipoles in single direction that is ferromagnetism i, I have already read i, I have already taught you all ki ferromagnetism kya hota hai yahan pe sare ke sare domains ek direction mein parallelly aligned hote hain i have already explained you all now in this lecture I, my main focus will be how the ferromagnetic material varies when we apply some extra external magnetic field across that now as we know that in case of ferromagnetic material all the these materials remain ferromagnetic up to a temperature known as curie temperature theta c it will remain ferromagnetic and above if you will increase the value of temperature theta greater than theta c it will become ferromagnetic material will turns as paramagnetic material paramagnetic materials now in a fresh ferromagnetic material that is i have taken a virgin or fresh ferromagnetic material there are no there are number of domains and each domain is magnetically saturated by parallel alignment of dipoles that is what we have taken here is that let me explain you through this diagram only in this case what i have taken is that i have taken a fresh ferromagnetic material fresh ferromagnetic material and in case of a fresh ferromagnetic material all the magnetic domains each domains is magnetically saturated by parallel alignment of dipoles but the orientation of dipole that is the dipole orientation that is the dipole alignment or orientation is different in different domains this is known as domain wall domain and this is another domain this is another domain and this is another domain so these materials have zero spontaneous magnetization in the absence of magnetic field that is let's discuss about point a this point I refer to the graph this point i am i am discussing about this point if if we haven't applied any extra external magnetic field across the ferromagnetic material then that material will behave like a its domain will 
uh, will be in random orientation and its domain will be separated by the domain walls and it will have some random spontaneous magnet uh, random spontaneous alignment this, that's result in materials have zero spontaneous magnetization in the absence of magnetic field so you can see that this point a will refer will show you that it is a multi domain state that is point a is multi domain state you can say it is a multi domain state now moving further let's apply uh, extra external magnetic field let's apply an extra external magnetic field to that ferromagnetic material and just check what will be the behavior of that ferromagnetic material and that domains inside that ferromagnetic material so what do we हम लोगों ने एक एक्स्ट्रा मैग्नेटिक फील्ड में उसको प्लेस किया फेरोमैग्नेटिक मटेरियल को तो हम लोगों ने देखा कि व्हाट वी हैव व्हाट व्हाट विल बी द बिहेवियर ऑफ दैट फेरोमैग्नेटिक मटेरियल सो वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई दैट दोस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एंड दिस बीएच कर्व केम इनटू एक्जिस्टेंस यू कैन से दैट ऑन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड all the domains jitne bhi domains honge they they will all these are the domains the they will try to align that is on the application of magnetic field all the domains will try to align themselves along the direction of most favorable domain or you can say that or in the most world expansion of other domains and this process of domain growth keep continue until only most favorable domain remain at the material then you can say that when we will apply an extra magnetic field across that ferromagnetic material we will what we will get that ki jitne sare bhi jo domains honge wo align karne ki koshish karenge most ya either it will they will align in the most favored domain or you can see that they will align in the in the direction of magnetic field so point d is that point only now moving for further once the domain growth is completed the domain alignment is completed then with further increase in magnetic field then if we will increase magnetic field b or h domain orientation generated and after that we apply some extra external more magnetic field then we will what we will get is that magnetic field it will rotate the dipole along the field and hence all the dipoles become parallel to the applied magnetic field so you can see that at point e that is maximum applied magnetic field what we will get will be that इसके बाद हम अप्लाई नहीं कर पाएंगे आफ्टर दैट यहां पे क्या होगा सारे के सारे डोमेन एक जगह अलाइंड हो जाएंगे अलाइंड डोमेन अलाइंड इन विच इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो यू कैन सी दैट इट इज अचुरेशन मैग्नेटाइजेशन दिस पॉइंट इज अचुरेशन मैग्नेटाइजेशन यू कैन से दैट नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू सम टर्म दैट इज रिटेन रिटेनसिविटी द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ स्पॉन्टेनियस मैग्नेटाइजेशन दैट इज this spontaneous is also known as residual and remanent and remanent magnetization its maximum value is known as retentivity that a material will retain retentivity is the ability of a material so that it will retain the value of so that it will retain the value of magnetic field even if if we have removed the extra external magnetic field in case of this now you can say that here at this point h is equals to 0 but the material have some magnetic field you can say that so in this case this is the maximum retentivity means retentivity ka matlab hi hoga ki wo kitne residual magnetism ko khud mein rakh payega even if we have removed the magnetic effect across that ferromagnetic material now coercivity there is a term coercive field or coercivity the maximum value which a coercive field can have is known as coercivity and us point pe jo maximum value hoga coercive field ka wo kya अलाइन करेगा वो जो होगा वो कोएसिविटी को बताएगा सो देर इज नो कंफ्यूजन इन बिटवीन दिस सो यू नीड टू बी वेरी मच केयरफुल एंड बी वेरी मच अटेंटिव इन दिस टॉपिक्स बिकॉज यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस नाउ मूविंग फर्दर टेम्परेचर डिपेंडेंसी ऑफ दैट मटेरियल नाउ विथ इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर जैसे हम लोग टेम्परेचर बढ़ाएंगे विथ इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर एरिया और यू कैन से दैट लूप hysteresis loop decrease kar jayega as we will increase the temperature of the ferromagnetic material the loop area or the loop area will de start decreasing so you can say that above curie temperature theta c 
the loop will merge into a straight line that is let me show you all that is above curie temperature when temperature is greater than theta c that is curie temperature thus the line between the magnetic field and h magnetic field intensity will be a the loop will be converted into a straight line sorry this that will pass through origin so you can say that like this now when theta when temperature is greater than critical temperature or you can say that curie temperature then that ferromagnetic material ferromagnetic material will converted into paramagnetic material i have already discussed about paramagnetic material so i need not to repeat it again so let's move further <clears throat> now let's discuss about few terms the anti ferromagnetic anti ferromagnetic materials as i have already discussed about anti ferromagnetic material isme kya hoga all the domains are aligned one in this direction and another in this direction one in this direction another in this direction that is let's draw me let's i, I will draw it first and i will explain it that is in this material net magnetic materials have anti parallel arrangements so all the domains have anti parallel arrangements of dipoles and hence net magnetization is absent of electric field if we will not apply any extra magnetic field then net magnetization is counterbalanced that is counterbalance means one is counterbalancing second one so net magnetization is equals to zero in absence of any field in this case psi m that is magnetic susceptibility is small i have already gone through these things small and positive small and positive now now the entire magnetic material i have already discussed about anti ferromagnetism and ferrimagnetic magnetism so let me show you psi m for anti ferromagnetism is small and positive now up to nil temperature there is a temperature known as nil temperature anti ferromagnetism material that is anti anti ferromagnetic material will behave like anti ferromagnetic if theta that is temperature is greater than nil temperature that anti ferromagnetic will behave like a paramagnetic material remember this thing this is the direct question this, these are the direct question you can expect in engineering science examination prelims so you need not to lift anything now now moving further now what is the value of psi m in case of ferromagnetic material anti ferromagnetic material psi m equals to c by t plus theta n where theta n is the nil temperature kindly remember these thing nil temperature so you need to remember the value of psi m in case of anti ferromagnetic material now now moving further let's discuss about ferrimagnetic फेरी मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल में क्या होगा इन केस ऑफ फेरी मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल डोमेन आर अलाइंग लाइक दिस लेट मी सो यू लाइक दिस लाइक वन इन दिस डायरेक्शन विथ विथ हायर मैग्नेट्यूड एंड इन काउंटर बैलेंसिंग डोमेन विल बी हैव लेस मैग्नेट्यूड सो रिजल्टिंग रिजल्टिंग देर विल बी सम मैग्नेटाइजेशन दैट इज नेट मैग्नेटाइजेशन इज नॉट जीरो इन केस ऑफ फेरो फेरी मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल सो what are the some example of ferromagnetic material this is very very important material for uh, electrical guys because you could we have we can use it in many application related to electrical engineering concept so now example is ferrites like nickel zinc ferrites nickel zinc ferrite used in audio tv transformer now why ferrimagnetic material is 
is so much famous why fairy magnetic material is so much the resistivity of fairy magnetic material fairy magnetic material is greater than resistivity of ferromagnetic remember this point this is very much important point that resistivity of fairy magnetic material is greater than resistivity of ferromagnetic material so because of this reason eddy current eddy current loss is less let me uh, just explain you what is eddy current eddy current are the circulating current which flows inside a core so i will not explain in very much detail because this is not electrical machine uh, lecture this is material science engineering and and also this is just general studies portion so i am going to explain you what is eddy current eddy current is a is a current which flows inside a core and its strength is like circular circular current flows inside a core it heats up the core and resulting and it provides some losses which in turns turns down that efficiency of that material or efficiency of that devices like transformer and different core materials now since in case of ferromagnetic fairy magnetic have less resistivity and have less eddy current losses that's why fer fer ferromagnetic materials that's why ferrites are used in as substitute of ferromagnetic material in developing core of high frequency transformer that is high frequency transformer used as in case of high high frequency transfer what are the advantages of ferrites over ferro so you need to remember what are advantages of ferrites over ferro the advantages kya kya hai higher resistivity higher resistivity second example hai resistivity high ho rahi hai to ad current loss kya hoga ghatega that is it will be less permeability will be more magnetic saturation will be more that is Uh, in case of magnetic field retention it will saturate after it will have more saturation capability dielectric constant will be high and extremely low if dielectric constant will be high results in extremely low dielectric losses hence i am wrapping up this lecture here i have completed the concept of bh curve or hysteresis curve and i have also given the basic of uh, fairy magnetic and ferromagnetic materials now if you want to connect me or if you want to know uh, if you have any doubt related to anything you can ping me on my facebook group that is gate esc simplified gate esc simplified and please tell me which subject i should start after uh, material science engineering i have options like uh, project management i can also start power system if you if you want me to start technical subject and i can i can also start power system and anything you want just comment in the comment box and connect me through these thing through in in the given in the description box thank you so much wrapping up